Welcome to State of Tech. My name's Jared. Today is Android Thursday, and so we're going to talk about how to basically turn your phone into the new Pixel launcher. Now, the new Pixel uh, phone that is supposed to be launched is uh, what's going to come from Google. In the past, they were the Nexus phones, and it seems like they're getting away from the name Nexus, and they're moving to the name Pixel. So the leaked information so far is that there will be a Pixel and a Pixel XL, and they will have their own like UI user interface. And so if you're interested in actually having that look and feel to your phone right now, you can achieve that using Action Launcher 3. So it's pretty cool. Uh, Action Launcher has been around for a long time. It's one of the best launchers on the market. And if you haven't heard of it, you'll need to download that from the Play Store uh, and then open the application. You'll also need to do the in-app purchase. Uh, so if you haven't done that, it will require that. So let's take a look at going through the process of setting up Action Launcher 3 and configuring it so that you have a new kind of Google Pixel style phone. So the first thing you'll need to do is open Action Launcher 3 and go through a couple of the prompts initially. To set it as your default home launcher, simply just tap the home button again and it's gonna ask you if you want to use Action Launcher 3 or the previous launcher that you had installed on your phone. So you can tap on use different app, such as you see on the screen here, and then choose always and it will always launch that app. So enter into Action Launcher 3 settings and then make sure that you have made the in-app purchase. You'll know that you have the correct account with Action Launcher 3 when you see the little plus badge at the top right hand corner or this screen just as you see here. So the first thing you need to do is go into Quick Theme and customize the Quick Theme settings. So as far as customizing the colors, you can kind of do whatever you want here to make the theme look and feel the way that you would like it to. Uh, but what you are going to need is a dock background of white instead of transparent like it is on my device uh, or if it had a different color selected. So go ahead and choose white and hit OK. The next thing you'll need to do is go into the quick bar and select none. The next step is to choose desktop. We're going to configure a couple things in this section. So let's customize the home screen indicator. We're going to choose carrot and hit OK. Then we're going to scroll down to folder style and instead of legacy, choose nugget. Now under app drawers, we're going to go ahead and customize the style. Scroll down and choose nugget and hit OK. By default, open via dock swipe is on, but you'll want to make sure that it is. So now if you return to your home screen, it should look pretty similar to what it was, but there are some customizations that you will notice right away, such as the folder style. So now all we have left to do is add a couple of widgets. Tap and hold on your screen or whatever method it is to get to widgets on your phone. Go into widgets and you'll see Action Launcher, a couple of widgets up at the top. The first is the Google Pill. So tap and drag that onto your phone and put it over in the left hand corner. Go back to widgets and choose the date and time, which is a two by one, and tap and drag that into the right hand side. We're basically done with the configuration here. Now it comes down to setting up the theme if you wanna go in and customize the theme and kind of make it look more appropriate. Obviously mine still has a, a very stock Android 7 look, so I may want to change my wallpaper or give a little bit different wallpaper style just to have that more uh, Pixel or Pixel XL look. So the Google pill over on the left hand side, if you tap that, it's gonna go ahead and initiate basically Google Now um, and let you do a search or anything just like the bar that used to be at the top of your phone. The, uh, the date and time over at the top right hand corner, if you tap on that, it will go ahead and launch your calendar. It will ask you if you wanna use Google Calendar or another calendar app that you're using. So simply tap on that and configure it and you're ready to go. So on the home screen, you can swipe up from that little carrot and it will get you to your app drawer. I really love this feature because it's gonna be time saving in a sense where uh, you don't necessarily have to um, you know, have your finger on the app drawer. You just simply swipe up and it's ready to go. It's uh, actually a pretty cool feature. Um, and I see myself further customizing this. So if you're interested in kind of having that next gen Nexus, maybe Pixel, Pixel XL look and feel early on, you could do that with Action Launcher 3. And Action Launcher 3 is just a great launcher and it's really cool that they have these additional settings that allow us to get that Pixel look ahead of time. 
So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel to get updates on future videos. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks again for checking out State of Tech, and we hope to see you next time.